Hello again, I'm Brian Turrell, President and CEO of Safety Enterprises, here with another installment of Safety Enterprises informational videos. Today we're going to talk about briefly one of my favorite firearms of all time. This is the US M1 30 caliber carbine. This particular model uh, is a uh, parts gun, unfortunately. It is a national post meter receiver, it has an underwood barrel, it's a 1943 production barrel. It does have a Korean era. Uh, bayonet lug which was not actually uh, on the firearm during World War II. This was uh, saw a number of action uh, in the European theater, was primarily used in the Pacific theater by the US Marine Corps. It's an extremely lightweight semi-automatic uh, gas blowback short stroke action. It is chambered in the 30 caliber carbine cartridge. Uh, there are handgun manufacturers out there that manufacture uh, handguns for that. Ruger makes a Blackhawk revolver which we'll show you in another clip. Uh, that is compatible with this weapon. It is semi-automatic. It, it accommodates a multitude of different magazines, um, 20 rounders, 25, 30, 40 round magazines. It has an adjustable rear sight, very lightweight uh, firearm. It was almost uh, designed to uh, replace the sidearm at one point for the U.S. military. The U.S. Marine Corps used this extensively uh, in the Pacific Theater, very lightweight uh, uh, firearm, very quick uh, to shoulder, uh, semi-automatic again as I indicated blowback and short stroke action it was developed after uh, the M1 Garand uh, was produced uh, it was designed to be a complement uh, rifle to that there are a multitude of these still out there and available very difficult to find one in original condition most of them were parts guns because uh, in the field uh, if something went wrong one of the military armors would slap them together you'll find them out there from IBM um, Saginaw steering gear uh, Remington uh, made them uh, as well. Again, National Postal Meter, Underwood, again, a multitude of these guns available. So unless you know exactly what you're looking at, uh, be careful if you're actually looking to purchase one of these. Um, there are some aftermarket guns that are out there. Uh, they did reproduce them uh, for a period of time uh, just recently uh, in original configuration. But it's an extremely lightweight rifle, very re reliable, very accurate. Uh, close range weapon uh, could be uh, used for uh, hunting purposes for up to medium sized game, say the size of a white tailed deer. Within uh, accurate range, you could take a, a deer with one of these types of firearms very easily. But again, one of my favorite rifles of all time is a very lightweight, compact, uh, has an oiler system built into the sling uh, itself. Again, magazine releases here. It's a semi automatic action with a uh, blowback, short stroke mechanism. Uh, the gun itself. Uh, is very reliable. Uh, it does have the capability of uh, accommodating a multi multitude of different magazines as I indicated different caliber or different uh, capacities I should say on the magazine itself. So adjustable sights, uh, standard adjustable sights on this firearm went out to 300 meters uh, on the rear sight. Uh, it has a traditional peep style sight with a partridge front uh, aperture on the gun.